<laughs> this is pretty good lighting in my living room. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I <laughs> filmed an intro for this video the other day before I actually got the rescue iguana. However, I was playing it back while I was editing right now, just like a few minutes ago, and I was like, I sound so annoying. Anyways, iguanas and bearded dragons and leopard geckos are kind of some of the most commonly abused animals. <laughs> and like troubled and just kind of rambled on. And so I wanted to refilm this and hopefully make it a little more like succinct in like what I want to say. There's a looking at me across. She's like literally two streets away. Why are you staring at me? It's kind of bothering me. I don't like when people stare at me. I came, I was on Craigslist as I do. I kind of like check it here and there. And um, I I noticed this iguana and um, it was for sale on there. And I almost, I was just was shocked honestly by what I saw. Like the iguana doesn't even look like it's alive in these photos. Like, and some of you said that on Twitter too, cause I had posted, I was like, see, this is why I look on Craigslist every, every now and then because there's mistreated animals up there. And so I replied to the ad and they responded to me pretty immediately. And I asked them if they could possibly bring the iguana to me. And I was kind of like, hey, this iguana looks like it really needs to go to the vet. Like what's going on with its skin? Even though I kind of already had an idea that it was just totally riddled with mites and obviously was in a very dirty cage. And the plainness of the cage is probably due to treating the mites. Oh, the sun's starting to come out. The weather has been so weird here. Um, so basically uh, they agreed to bring her to me and I paid for the iguana. Um, I basically, I felt like I was paying for the aquarium that, that uh, she was in. And she was also labeled as a male. And looking at her pictures, like immediately she just looked like a female to me. They said that she was about a year old and so they actually agreed to come to my house and drop her off. And they said that she had mites, had as in past tense, and she only has like one treatment left. And in the pictures on Craigslist, I could see a mite spray. So they came over and dropped her off to me in this like super tall aquarium that's made for fish. Leonidas, why don't you come over here and hang out with me? Good boy. Want to come up on my lap? There's a good boy. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. So they brought her over to me and they were a very interesting couple. The girl actually like works for some sort of animal service, which I found insane considering this iguana is like completely neglected. Like this, mites should never get this bad on an animal. Like this is just straight up not wanting to take them to the vet and get it handled. This lady across the street just is staring at me. Can you just look away? When I was young, I was taught to never look into people's houses as I walked by. Like that is just so bizarre to like stare into people's houses. It's so weird to me. Like I would never do that. Were you raised in a barn? Just they, I felt like they, I was just uncomfortable. They, I needed them to leave my house because I needed to care for this, this lizard immediately, you know? And so they finally like leave and I'm like, thank goodness. And I'm looking at the puppy pads in the tank that she's in. And it's, there are mites just all over the puppy pads. Like if that many mites got all over her enclosure and puppy pads, like in that short of time, like we need way more than one more treatment. And also what they gave me was bird mite spray. That's what they were treating her with. So they were treating her with, with bird mite spray. So I was just like, oh my gosh, like this needs something serious. Like she needs to be treated. Like she has tons and tons of stuff shed all over her and mites were just under all of that. And like she had such big mites on her that I could like see them crawling on her face. Like they were the size of poppy seeds. Like they were giant. So they finally leave and then that's kind of where my clips start here that I'll show you. But um, I, they also had told me that they were feeding her like kale and I could see that in the pictures. There was just like dried kale everywhere. And I can't remember what the word is, but there's some, it, kale is high in, it's not, is it oxalic acid? But there's something else too. And iguanas really shouldn't have a lot of that and that was like, all they were feeding her. 
She also did not have a UVB light and they also told me that they leave her daylight on all day and all night. So she just has light 24 hours a day, every single day. I'm confused. I'm confused. And that is not right. Um, that's not right at all. Iguanas are diurnal and they sleep at night when we sleep and they need darkness. So her day night cycle is probably totally messed up. And they told me that they were leaving those lights on all day and stuff because they couldn't keep it warm enough in her tank. Well, that tank is an aquarium and it's very, very high. So of course you're gonna have a hard time keeping it as warm as it should be in there um, and no UVB light at all. So this poor thing has been just so mistreated and I'm gonna show you kind of where we're at now and um, take her to the vet and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started with the footage from the night that I rescued her. Okay guys, um, just got the iguana dropped off. Uh, she is a she, not a male. Um, she is literally so weak. She's got puppy pads in here and that's it. They're literally covered in mites, like little red ones and big black ones, like big enough so you can see them. Like they've been feeding for a while because um, they are very easy to spot and usually mites are basically microscopic. Like you can see them, but they're really tiny. These are pretty big. Like I could even see one crawling right on her face. I'm gonna take her up to the bath and I'm gonna show her to you right now. She is in really bad shape. This is just so bad. Um, she's missing scales all right here. It's all right, baby. Her tail is just got mites all over it. <sighs> she has pieces of her body that are gray and like black looking. It almost looks necrotic. Um, and I don't really know what that is because I'm not a vet. I feel like my skin is crawling now. Her body, this is what I'm talking about right here. This is all stuck shed. Um, and these are mites. I don't know if you can see these little red things on here. Um, there's even one in the towel right here now. And all of this is just, all these scales are missing and look, she's trying to get away, but she has no energy at all. I was told that she, her day and night light is always on, which you should never do that. She needs, um, she needs to have a day night cycle. She needs to know when it's nighttime. She, you can never leave a reptile's lights on all night long, all the time. This is just like so bad. This is so bad. I'm going to, get her into the bath, I'm gonna soak her and try and get some of these mites off of her and some of this stuck shed. It's just so crunchy and crusty and nasty that it's gotta hurt her. You know, this has gotta be painful. Hi, sweet girl. This poor thing. She is so weak. I just laid her in the sink for a minute so I can get this situated and she like is not even moving. It's okay. I know, I know. You're scared. It's alright, honey. It's okay. How did you let this happen? I can't even get it up.
All right, she's been soaking in here for a little while. All these little specks that you guys are seeing are all mites. Um, like these are really big too. Like, let me get this one to show you guys. It's crazy how big these are. That is a giant mite. I've never even seen a mite that big. It's huge. And so all these like little dots in here, these are all mites. Hi baby, that's another giant one right there. Fucking huge. She gets really scared when there's a phone on her. It is officially 2 a.m. I'm trying to wind down right now. Um, about 10 minutes ago, I finished setting up um, the temporary enclosure for the iguana. We need to name her. Um, and I gave her some heat and a ceramic bulb so that it's, it's pitch black in there. The poor thing, like I said before, has had daylight 24 hours a day her whole life. I just went in there to check on her and she's literally laying in her water dish. She's probably trying to drown the mites. I kind of, um, so I soaked her twice and re like redid the water. The first time there was tons of mites in the water. Second one, there wasn't really any. And then her shed got really like um, soggy kind of, and I kind of could see underneath it. And she's got like multiple types of mites, possibly even chiggers. I'm just learning about mites and chiggers because I've never had this issue with any of my reptiles. I sent some pictures to my vet already and kind of just hopefully they see it first thing in the morning. I just said, hey, kind of an emergency, like I need an appointment tomorrow, please. So hopefully they get back to me and when I wake up, I'm going to call them. I did an Instagram live. So if you were part of that and you're watching this right now, thank you so much for joining me on there. Like I had a really good time. It was really helping me because I was really stressed out about the condition of this iguana and all of your guys' really encouraging comments and everything were really, really nice to read while I was kind of doing that live. And I think I need to do lives on there more often. Like it's just so much fun for me to connect with you guys on that level. And it's just like, <clears throat> creates like a community for us, you know? So <clears throat> I really liked that and enjoyed your guys' company. So thanks for joining me on that. That was awesome. I really, really liked that. And I we probably sound a little more enthusiastic right now, but it's 2 a.m. and I'm exhausted. I trained um, a new employee all day today, uh, and that is the girl who has the degree in zoology that I hired to help me care for my animals and watch them while I'm out of town. Okay, I've got both Motley and Sailor. Um, I named the iguana Sailor, uh, S-A-Y-L-E-R. I grew up watching Sailor Moon and I thought it was really cute and I want to spell it a little bit differently. Um, we're off to the vet right now. Motley, it's kind of a different story. Um, she's not been eating lately. Uh, and just kind of had some problems and so I took her in for a vet visit because I'd never taken her before because right when I um, adopted her she was a rescue they were like oh she's seen the vet like she just got healed from this thing that she had blah blah and so I thought she had just seen a vet so she hasn't been eating so I'm like okay something's up so um, I took her in and she has hookworms turns out that she's had them before I ever even got her so I guess good rule of thumb means even if somebody tells you they've just seen the vet take them to your own vet that you trust so she got treated last time and kind of force fed um, and she is still not eating on her own. So they're gonna do another treatment for the hookworms right now. And uh, yeah, we are going to see what's going on with Sailor and like what we can do. Okay, so we just got back from the gym. I almost just said the gym because I was just thinking about how I never have any time to work out. Um, we just got back from the vet. Uh, she is looking a lot better. They did a soak and kind of removed a lot of the stuck shed. Her tail still needs a lot of work. It's okay, baby girl, it's all right. She's kind of afraid of the phone. Still need to do some work in here. So basically the vet told me that, yeah, she just is covered in mites and they removed a bunch of the shed and so much of the shed has like just stuck on her and all the mites have like, that's just making me itch think about it. The mites have basically like, got under the skin and just irritated her skin so much and, and so much dead skin sitting on her. So it's basically exactly what I thought, just 
really bad mites. Um, he said that he doesn't see any fungal infection or anything. And she does have teeth, they're just very small, and she is in fact a she. Uh, he doesn't think she's any older than six months old, six or so, I was told she was a year old. So I've got some ivermectin that I'm putting in a spray bottle to dilute down and spray down her every three days and her enclosure. And I just have to be really, really careful to make sure that she, her, these mites don't get passed to any of my other reptiles. So I might've said this previously, but she is going to be kept on a separate floor. She's been, keep, been in my office. So she's staying in my office right now. And when I handle her and soak her, I just need to be really careful. So I'm gonna be doing some more soaks once a day to try and just like remove more of that nasty shed that's stuck to her. And every time I am finished with her, I'm gonna remove my clothes and throw them in the dryer to kill any mites that might've gotten on me and also wash my hands really, really well. So I'm gonna put her back here and back in her enclosure so she can get some heat and some UVB and uh, I'm gonna make her a salad. And I will update you guys more in, I think an update video maybe once a month on her would be really great so that we can kind of have like side-by-side -side pictures and videos to show of her skin and how it's looking. And um, the vet told me that probably in about six months, she's gonna look like a completely different lizard. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and being a part of this journey on Twitter, Instagram, here, everything. Um, and thanks for rooting for her. And uh, we will get her all fixed up. Please give this video a thumbs up if you are all in support of Sailor's recovery. Hi, Sailor. Hi, pretty girl.